What's up, sons? It's Plydrod with Savatech once again, and welcome to another episode of Mining Rig Wars. Yes, I know, we, we've been seriously inconsistent with it. I do apologize. It's been epically busy, but we're back in the swing of things, and we have five more rigs that you can vote on. If you would like to vote, click the I up in the top corner here and select your favorite rig, and they will be entered into the finals episode. If you'd like to enter your own rig, please email submissions at sonofatech.com or go to sonofatech.com slash submit your rig and submit there. Links will be in the description, of course. But without further ado, let's get to your favorite part, the intro. Welcome back. So starting things off, we have Rig A named Rig 3 by Nick. He's rocking SMOS for his mining OS, so already winning in my book there. He has 8 MSI RX 488 gigabytes, the Asus Prime Z270P motherboard, an Intel Pentium G4400 processor, and a kit of 8 gigabytes of G-Scale memory with an M.2 PCIe adapters, two of them, and the risers are all from eBay, he notes, with a random eBay power button. Not quite needed, actually, if you go into the BIOS and set that properly, by the way. And the breakout boards are random from eBay, so everything's random from eBay, apparently, and a 32 gigabyte PNY USB pen drive. His total hash rate is 230, mega hash a second moving on to rig b named c rig so maybe i should have made this run uh rig c but whatever by kavank he's rocking six msi rx 580 armor editions with an intel i3 cpu un unnamed and the everest 1650 watt power supply and a Kingston 120 gigabyte SSD. His frame is the most notable part here where he has the PVC pipe, or I thought was PVC pipe, but actually looks to be like some sort of uh, rubber made cases or whatever, those, those drawers and stuff. So I'm most curious on that, but moving on, we have Rig C Shoebox Shifty by Gabe. He's rocking the Asus Z270A Pro motherboard with the G3900 processor, 4GB of ballistics RAM, a 16GB USB running ETH OS, two 850 watt Corsair power supplies, four XFX RX570 RS triple X editions, a TP-Link smart Wi-Fi plug, as well as a kilowatt. His total hash rate is 104 and a half mega hash a second. Rig D is called Maker Mining Rig by Kenneth. He's rocking the Maker Mining Frame, so it's the 2020 aluminum extrusions and 3D printed joints. The motherboard is the Biostar TB250 BTC Plus motherboard, which we have a review of on this channel. He's rocking some sort of Pentium, which he hasn't named, I assume a G3930 or 4400. The Corsair Vengeance LPX DDR4 memory, 8 gigabytes of it, and a SanDisk 120 gigabyte hard drive. He has the EVGA Supernova 1300 watt power supply, a gigabyte Radeon RX 588 gigabytes, and I assume that means all of them are. Yeah, supposedly here. He didn't say how many he has there. I'll try to count them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Well, that's two rigs. So he has between six and eight, depending on which rig he's talking about or referring to here. I guess we could try to figure it out if we took a look at his hash rate. He's got the Corsair Air Series SP120 LED high static pressure fans. And his total hash rate is 3,600 hash a second. I'm assuming on CryptoNote at this point. And I can't think of the RX 580 CryptoNote off the top of my head hash rate, especially during this time, because that's all changed quite a bit now recently. Finally, we have Rig E JY Mining by Jose. He is as well rocking the Biostar TB250 BTC Pro motherboard with a 7th gen processor. Intel, he doesn't say which one. He has the part number here. It looks like an i5-7400 from the looks of the part number. 8 gigabytes of crucial DDR4 memory, a 250 gigabyte Samsung SSD, the Corsair HXi series 
750 watt power supply along with an EVGA Supernova 1200 watt power supply, the UXL 67 inch desktop computer power switch, five power color Red Devil RX 588 gigabytes, a single Red Dragon RX 588 gigabyte, and five XFX RX 588 gigabytes as well. No hash rates included. So we really need to start getting some more details in those emails as you guys send them. Some of y'all are doing really well, some of y'all not so much, but please, please, uh, please help me out there. Going back through these, looking at JY Mining, I mean, everything here looks great. It looks like he's got 11 GPUs running on the TB250 BTC Pro motherboard, so that's impressive in and of itself. And judging from the solid state drive he's running, I'm assuming he's also running Windows 10, which would be even more impressive. Of course, Windows 10 has made some strides as far as that goes. Now, moving on to Rig D or back through these, Rig D Maker Mining Rig. Kenneth here is, it looks like from what I can tell, either running SMOS or Hive. He didn't mention. I'd like to actually know because that'd be curious. I really like the frame, of course, especially since it's stackable. And as you can see here, he's able to stack two rigs, one on top of each other, making this a very, very good use of space. Rig C Shoebox Shifty is apparently on a shoe rack so i'm not sure where the shoe boxes are but it is on a shoe rack or a shelf of some sort i wish there were some better pictures need to clean up that cable management on the left side i'm worried about a fire there so if you could get that worked out i'd feel a lot better about this he does have the kilowatt as well as the tp link so he's making all the smart decisions on monitoring tools good stuff there and the hash rate is decent i think it was 104 mega hash a second on four rx 570s not too shabby rig b c rig by kabank going back through his the frame is the most awesome part here cable management is very good uh, if you could if you're watching this let me know in the comment section below which frame that is and then finally rig three which was the first rig rig a I would just pretty much say here that if you guys are looking for an example of a starter rig, this is a very good one. It's not going to be too many GPUs right off the bat. Well, it is going to be eight GPUs right off the bat. However, it is spec'd out very nicely. The rest of this is pretty much a perfect example of a starter build and going with, of course, the Simple Mining OS is my second favorite choice. My favorite is Hive OS, and you guys can watch those videos on how to install either one of those up in the corner. That's pretty much gonna wrap it up for this week's episode of Mining Rig Wars. Be sure to vote for your favorite up here in the corner with the eye so people know that you enjoyed their rig. And let me know, of course, in the comment section who your favorite rig was. Once again, I apologize for not keeping up with these episodes and we'll be getting better and better at keeping content flowing over here on Son of a Tech YouTube channel. Come chat with me in the Discord if you have some free time. I'm always on there while I'm at work as well so we can chit chat about stuff when I get time off. Thanks for watching once again and I will see you next Tuesday.